Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel and a new video. This is actually going to be a what I eat in a week video like I used to do on this channel, except even though I tried my best to film everything that I ate in the week, I did forget um, a few things throughout the week because I just haven't done it in a long time and it's hard to remember to film every single time I eat something. So forgive me for that. Also, this is the first week after my roommate moved out of the apartment. So now I'm truly living alone. I really wanted to like get through everything everything in the fridge or most of it before I did another big shopping trip because I have to learn to like shop and cook for one again. So anyway, that's kind of the theme of this video, using things up. <laughs> Hello there. Does that make it look any better or worse? It's really worse because you can see in here now. It's gross in there. <sighs> We're gonna make matcha. Typical. I need to make a lot of things using milk. Okay, because I have so many milks right now, it's ridiculous. I have this milk, tiny bit of milk in here, and this one too. I also have a creamer. Some of these are my roommates, um, and she didn't finish them before she moved out. I don't really know how old some of them are. Um, so yeah, I wanna be making some matcha this week, and some coffee. <laughs> Make some smoothies, because I put milk in smoothies usually. What else? I guess I could buy some cereal. <laughs> Anyways, let's put some water in here. Let's sweeten that with some stevia. Let's put also some syrup. Sometimes I feel like I should just use sugar. I feel like that would be better, because maple flavor with matcha seems kind of weird yeah i was getting into making like matcha lemonade which was really good but i have all these milks to use so i can't make matcha lemonade anymore. i gotta use the milks i'm gonna be like one of those um i'm gonna be like one of those um home cafe videos where they have everything in different cups and stuff they just get so many it's like they're trying to get as many dishes dirty as possible but um just because i want to pour this out to make sure it looks okay it smells okay i don't really know what hemp milk is supposed to smell like honestly it's kind of weird but i think that's how it's supposed to be i think this is safe <laughs> Let's put it in. Look at that. I'm like a beer dad. There is ice in here. And then I want to finish this almond milk because there's literally like a drop in here. Like Casey, really? You couldn't finish this? Why do I feel like it smells like Burger King? Why does it smell like french fries? Am I being crazy? I feel like I am. Okay, no. It smells good. Okay. Almond milk. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I don't like the maple maple syrup with it as much as much. I also don't think I love hemp milk as much. You could probably get used to it though. For some like when I was first having oat milk, I didn't really like it either, and now I love oat milk, so. Actually, I just remembered an idea I had the other day. Um, wasn't too satisfied with my matcha that day, so I decided let's have a chocolate matcha. Mmm, it's good. <laughs> chocolate milk matcha. Because that's a thing, right? I mean, people make like chocolate matcha things. Hey guys, sorry to startle you with my suddenly short hair mid video. But anyways, before we get into the rest of the video, I want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Ritual. Ritual is a multivitamin company that has actually sponsored a few of my videos in the past. I don't know if you guys remember. And I've also continued to buy them since then with my own money because I just like them so much. Obviously, number one, I like them because they're vegan friendly and it can sometimes be hard to find good vitamins without animal products. But also they're gluten-free, allergen-free, contain no added sugar and non-GMO if those are any concerns of yours. I also love that their packaging is made from 100% recycled materials and the mailers they use are made from recycled newspapers 
rose print and plant fibers, which is super cool. Another thing is that they have a delayed release capsule design. So they're gentle on an empty stomach and there's also a minty tab in each bottle that makes them smell minty fresh every time, which makes them a lot easier to take compared to a lot of other nasty vitamins out there. So if you're interested in filling in the gaps in your diet with Ritual, they're offering 10% off your first three months. All you gotta do is click the link in the description, ritual.com slash 10 Ewing, or use my code 10 Ewing at checkout to receive the offer. Again, thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Appreciate it so much and let's get back to it. So since I failed to film every single thing that I ate in the week, I figured, what does it matter anyways? You know, I can organize the meals however I want. So we're just gonna start with some breakfast that I had during the week and then move on to like lunches and dinners. And then we'll talk about miscellaneous other. So starting with the first breakfast, this is just something that I eat for breakfast if I don't know what else to eat for breakfast. Just a piece of toast with some peanut butter, maybe some seeds on there, maybe some sweetener, and then cut up an apple. My camera's gonna die. Milk. Weird hemp milk. A little oat milk. Maybe a little more, I don't know. I'm the, I don't know what the smoothie is gonna be. Some sort of green, green smoothie, but with a bunch of other stuff in it. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna do a little bit of spinach. I am starving. Okay, so I don't want to put too much kale because I feel like kale doesn't taste very good raw compared to spinach. But I just want a little, so just like that. I haven't made a green smoothie in a while. I like to put the greens in first because then it kind of like provides a layer between the liquid and the next solid chunks of things. Because if I just threw in chunks of things onto the into the milk, you know, then it would like splash out at me. So I have a bunch of banana, frozen banana. I'm gonna put in like about one frozen banana. Oof, my tummy is a rumbling. One of the main reasons I wanted to make some green smoothies was because I have a bunch of oranges that I bought and um, I thought they'd be good for making green smoothies. I feel like citrus and green, you know, goes really good together. Time. Now this um, might be a little crazy and it might be a mistake, but I've seen people do before. Okay, you can put veggies in fruits for smoothies. You can put veggies in smoothies and also carrots are kind of like sweet anyways, right? Like they're kind of, you know, sweet. I used to get a orange carrot juice blend all the time, that was so good. It's gonna be such a healthy smoothie. Although someone's gonna be like, the sugar content of the fruits. The only like frozen thing I have in here is the bananas. So I'm gonna put some ice. So I want it to be frosty, you know? Why don't I ever put the camera over here? Come on, oh, cause I don't wanna show my mess. Right. Okay, so this is a lot of smoothie and it's super frothy and it's, I don't know why I didn't expect it to be ugly. It honestly looks better on the camera for once than it does in real life. It looks disgusting in real life. It's such an ugly color. It's not bad. It's actually really sweet. I think there's too much milk in it. Since it's still too gritty, but it's sweet enough, I'm gonna put some more ice cubes in here. A lot more ice cubes. Just put them all in. Water down. You know, when orange isn't giving you, giving you the zestiness you crave, you're just gonna squeeze a lemon in there. It makes it more like sour, you know? Sometimes if you put like an orange in a smoothie, you're expecting it to be like sour and like tangy, you know? But then it's not, cause you have a sweet orange and it's not strong enough. It really smells like a garden, you know? That's better, that's a lot better. And you get the tanginess more now. I could definitely improve on this. Yeah, why does it look so much better on the camera than it does in real life? In real life, it's the ugliest color you've ever seen. 
on the camera, it's just like green, you know, it's like, it's green. So later on in the week, I made a couple more green smoothies that were pretty similar, but very much improved upon. This one in particular was absolutely amazing. Literally tasted like sour candy. Um, and now I can't not think of that song, but Anyways, yeah, I used a lot of the same stuff, except the most important thing was that I used coconut milk ice cubes, which I don't know why I never thought of this, but whenever I have some canned coconut milk leftover in the fridge, it more times than not goes bad before I use it. I'm so bad at using it. I don't know why it's like the most common thing that I waste. The best thing to use it for, I think, is smoothies. I haven't really tested it out for many other things, but it's perfect in smoothies, especially like kind of fruity smoothies like this, where you like that coconut milk flavor is complements well, you know? Oh, that's so sour. How is it this sour? I don't even know. I feel like drinking the lemonade straight isn't this sour. It's really good though. It literally tastes like candy. Ugh. That's so good. So this one was basically the exact same smoothie as the last one, except I ran out of coconut milk ice cubes. I just used a little bit more of the lemonade and also I used some hemp seed in this one. So it was just less creamy and slightly more nutty. Still really good, but like not quite as like perfect as the last one, you know? And I wouldn't normally use lemonade in smoothies because I'm trying to avoid as much sugar. I just had a bunch of lemonade, so I figured I would use it in smoothies because it's so good in smoothies. And yes, you guessed it, I am still making wraps. Um, still going strong in the wrap department. I do like them because you can kind of just throw whatever veggies that you want in them, unlike a sandwich where you kind of have to make sure it's able to like stack nicely, you know? The wraps, you could just throw it all in there, you know, just chop it up, throw it all in. This time I actually had some tofurkey deli slices to use up, so I put some of those in there. I don't know if I prefer them overall, but they are easier to roll, you know? They they help in encapsul encapsulate everything together in there, you know? Um, yeah, I got some mushroom in there, cucumber, cherry tomato, those pickled onions, spinach, mustard, salt and pep, and some good old spicy hummus. I also made another wrap, this pretty much the same way, but I used the buffalo tempeh that I talked about in a recent video. And this one, you know, it's not as cute because I just used some leftover veggies that I had from the night before that I cut up for dinner. Um, I had like a bowl, like a poke bowl kind of thing, so which you'll see later in the video. At first I was like, is it weird to put these in there? But I don't think it is. Um, it's just usually wrap veggies for whatever reason, like carrots, they gotta be julienned julienned uh, for whatever reason or shredded. I don't know. Just looks wrong like this. You know, the half moons, but why? Like that's so silly. I guess they wrap up better. Actually, that makes sense. Yeah. And I'm running out of my pickled onions, which just means that I have to be less lazy and make them, you know, just learn how to make them. I know it's so easy, but I just have to get on it. You know, I also filled this one up a little too much. Um, so things just started kind of falling out the sides, but yeah, it's so good. I love wraps. Really favorite. New fave. Why is the lighting always so bad over here? Whatever, okay. Tonight, we are making poke bowl, a poke bowl sort of thing. Because I have some leftover rice and some veggies to use. This isn't that much rice actually, but I just really need to use it and I don't wanna like cook cook. So this is what my roommate and I used to always make when she was here. Wow. So sad, that sounds. Um, yeah, we just like cut up a bunch of stuff and throw it in here and some condiments and stuff. Rice. I'm gonna open this super firm tofu. I was gonna press the tofu, but because it's this super firm kind, 
it's less important to press it. I mean, it still would probably make it a little better, but I don't think it's worth like getting the tofu press dirty. I'm just gonna cut, what's the serving size? <gasps> okay, cool. Five servings. So I'm just gonna cut like, let's say that's one, two, three, four. I don't know, I'm just gonna cut the end off. And just like the pokey, pokey, pokey planned, the pokey place, I'm gonna put them in the bowl and mix them with the sauce. My order at the pokey place, this is really sad lighting. I'm so sorry. How can I fix this? Well, going and getting lighting. <sighs> I don't want to though. Maybe if I turn this on, will it help? Does that help at all? Hey guys, not really, but whatever. Okay, I always get like a sweet soy sauce. So I have this soyaki sauce from Trader Joe's that I'm just gonna use some of. So yeah, we're just mixing that up into the little totes, getting them real good and saucy. I used to, at the place, I would be like, well, they let you have as many sauces as you want. So let me just get, I would try to get two sauces every time because it was an extra charge. But then I would always end up with like a soggy bowl and it'd just be like too sweet or too salty or whatever. I really wish they had a vegan uh, spicy mayo sauce. Lately, what I've been doing is just, I, I get the sweet soy sauce at the place and then when I take it home, I put spicy mayo on, on it myself. Tofu here. And I'm just gonna pour the rest of the sauce into the rice. I've really been loving cucumber lately. <laughs> now all that's left is avocado. Whew, that's an ugly one. No. No. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna s Hey, I'm not prepared for this. I do not own an ice chest yet. First concern is the food. <laughs> Anyways, um, this avocado really ruins the vibe, you know? Okay, so I have these... Pickled... Whew, pickled onions from my aunt. Um, that I don't know how long these, like, stay good. I mean, they're pickled, so doesn't that mean they stay good for, like, a really long time? Okay, so I'm just gonna put some of these on there. Cover up my ugly avocado mess. Stupid giant knife. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of sesame oil all over it, and then the best, most important part of it all. Can't really see what I'm doing, so hopefully I'm doing a good job. The sriracha mayo, and then there honestly could be more sriracha in there. The sriracha mayo, and then you have the says the black sesame seeds. Dude, the black sesame seeds make everything look so much fancier. I still feel like it's not being done justice, okay? It looks very colorful and fun in real life. It's pretty full, so I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to mix this up. It's good because you don't have to cook things, you know? But it's also good to like eat raw veggies sometimes, right? Isn't it like it's good for your teeth to eat raw veggies, right? And then this is just another bowl from the week. Um, this one's not as cute, not as exciting though. So I pretty much put a lot of the same stuff in it, except I added some spinach this time, and I also added some like white onion because I didn't have any more pickled onions. But you know, I don't know why, I shouldn't have done that. I needed green onions. Now I can say I have green onions. Okay, I'm gonna start growing my own green onions again because I failed the last time. But um, yeah, green onions are great. I will not be putting white onions raw into things like this again. It's just like, it's just kind of too much, you know? So the coconut milk ice cubes that I talked about earlier on in the video, I thought it'd be fun slash interesting to make a Thai tea with them because I have some Thai tea bags that are really good. And I was like, why don't I make a fun little drink with just some hot Thai tea poured over some coconut milk ice cubes and you know I wouldn't recommend it it's it was fine like for for just trying to use up those ice cubes it's fine but they don't melt into the drink like I thought they would I thought they would like smoothly just kind of blend in you know but it they 
yeah, they don't look that cute in there. They don't, they don't like melt as smoothly as I thought they would. So yeah, it's just like, just put them in a smoothie. It's better. Also, something that I made during this week was a nice little pasta dish featuring Trader Joe's meatless meatballs that I love so much. I had an ugly old eggplant that I really wanted to use up. And I also had some mushrooms, you know. So I had a can of just a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes that I wanted to get out of the fridge because I bought a new can of sun-dried tomatoes to put into the fridge. And you know, there's a bunch of oil in the the... the the jar of sun-dried tomatoes. So I was like, why can't I use that oil to start the pasta, you know? And so that's what I did. I don't know if it made much of a noticeable difference at all in the dish, but you know, it looked fun. You know, I felt like I was doing something interesting. I was doing something new. So yeah, I just cut all my veggies pretty small so that they would cook quickly. Um, and I don't like like big chunks of eggplant too much. I prefer you know, smaller chunks for the texture. And yeah, I put some kale in there. I also remembered to put my pasta water, put a little bit of my pasta water in into the pasta sauce, you know? But this time I used the pasta water to get all the excess tomato sauce from the tomato sauce jar. That sounded like crazy, a crazy sentence, but um, yeah, just be careful because you gotta like shake the jar up and the jar is like really hot because you just put boiling water in it. Um, so maybe I shouldn't recommend that, but I did it. So, you know, what can I say? I, I And you know, I said I was supposed to be learning how to cook for one. Yeah still learning because I made so much pasta that night. I gave some to my mom though, so it's all good. But yeah, I had tons of leftovers of that that week. So I, I ate that quite a few more times. Another thing that I made this week was just a simple little noodle stir fry, you know, noodle, veggie, stir, tofu, tofu, noodle, and veggie stir fry. Um, I had some noodles that I bought from Trader Joe's. I think they're udon noodles, some kind of wheat noodles. Um, from Trader Joe's from a week back and you know they were looking good they were looking scrumptious in there and I didn't really know what to make so for inspiration I checked out the recipe on the back of the box and I remember that that was actually a video idea that I was supposed to do sometime I still really want to do it because it sounds like a fun idea where for a week I just cook things that are from recipes on the packaging of different products in my pantry you know, so like anything I find, any recipe, I can only make things, I can only cook things through um, that week that I find on the recipes, on the packaging of the food that I have. But anyways, yeah, there was a really simple recipe on the back of the box. So I did something inspired by that. Basically just shook up some condiments in a jar and called it a sauce and then poured it on all my sh stuff. And it had some soy sauce, you know, sesame oil. I honestly forgot like everything in it, but I know I put some chili garlic paste in there. Love that stuff. Some white pepper and I think I also put some like soy soyaki sauce on it. Yeah, just like simple, but it turned out good. I love wheat noodles, wheat noodles. Well, I just love noodles. Man, I have such low standards with noodles. You get me like any noodle dish, no complaints whatsoever. Oh yeah, and I was gonna do something with the tofu, like fry it up or whatever, but then I just kind of forgot until halfway through cooking, so I just threw it in. But because I wasn't gonna like press it or fry it or anything like anything like that, I just tried to cut it up as small as possible so that it was still able to absorb like more sauce, you know? Another thing that I wanna talk about during this video that I ate this week was these Daya cheese sticks. They're always so expensive when I see them at Sprouts, but I saw them on sale. I forgot where it was that I saw them, but they were on sale. And so I was like, okay, I've been curious about you guys for so long, I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna to try you out. And I don't know why they didn't say, they don't say string cheese on them, right? But I thought that was like a copyright thing, a trademark thing, you know? I, I thought they'd be stringy. I was so disappointed to find that they make no strings whatsoever. Um, so you either have to just like bite them, bite the stick, you know, like a savage 
or or daintily break off little pieces and, and munch on those like a little mouse or something i don't know so but they're good i don't know they taste good i also had some frozen cupcakes this week <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just showing you like random desserts that I had in the freezer and, and lying around this week from previous activities. Cupcakes were from my grad party, vegan cupcakes from Cafe Oaxaca, um, local place that's got lots, lots of vegan options if you're in the Central Valley area. Did you know cake freezes really well? Or actually, I don't know, if you have low standards for cake, it does. Uh, I also made some applesauce with a bunch of ugly apples that I had the week before so i was still eating that this week as like a little sweet treat snack you know one of the things that i forgot to film this week was actually sushi takeout um silly me but i all i got was pretty much just an avocado roll and some spicy garlic edamame and also shared some veggie tempura with my friend i had drizzled some of my go to spicy mayo on top of the sushi which made it 10 times better why can't any sushi places around here have vegan mayo in store it makes me so sad i feel like i can only enjoy sushi if i get takeout so i can put my mayo sauce on it at home i guess i could bring the sauce to the restaurant but that just feels so like trashy you know how do we feel about that make me feel better about it um and i also had one of the i, I had one left just hidden you know stuck in the crevices of the freezer one of these little mini cones from trader joe's they're pretty good they're nothing special the ice cream is not like the best ice cream in the world but i like that they're small i don't know sometimes you want ice cream like if you want to enjoy an ice cream cone but you don't want like the whole thing you know it's cool i don't know i i have low standards for ice cream too so i i don't know but it's good and I guess that's most of what I ate this week. The rest, I think, is just like some random snacks and stuff and other leftovers, whatever. Not that interesting, I swear. But um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. I will have another what I eat video soon on this channel and more other videos. I don't know, follow me to see more. I also have a second channel, please check it out. Um, I want to start posting on there more often. I also have a Twitch channel that I stream on, sometimes usually Animal Crossing. Um, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram or in my description below. And um, love you guys. See you next video.